John, as you know, Alaska is one of my most favorite places on the planet. It literally is considered to be the last great wild frontier in North America. But for Princess, bringing all these incredible folks to this amazing wild place, how important is sustainability? How important is it to be thinking about the natural resources of Alaska when we visit there? Well, Alaska is an epic place. It's, it's truly incredible and it's pristine. And so it's a privilege for Princess to be able to sail guests to Alaska. So whether you're just talking about the wildlife, the main streets, the trains, the people, everything's authentic, everything's real. We wanna keep it that pure. So what's incredible about the Princess experience is you can get face to face with what makes Alaska so spectacular. And John, I can't think of a better way to get a truly wild, authentic Alaskan experience than with my good friends at the Alaska Raptor Center just outside of Sitka. Check it out. My ship is in port in Sitka, Alaska, where I'm spending the morning with some of the region's magnificent species of birds of prey. So this is the medical facility here at the Alaska Raptor Center, and they perform miracles here. They take birds just like this, all sorts of species, and a lot of trouble, sometimes on death's door, and uh, they get them not only recovered, a lot of times they get them in the wild. Okay, we're gonna hood the bird. Okie doke. Hopefully with the hood on, it'll help it calm down. This is Aurora. Aurora is an adult female bald eagle. I'm gonna put a tourniquet on and we're gonna draw some blood. Bald eagles themselves as a species are special because they are the ultimate symbol of who we are as a nation, as a people. But Aurora is a very special bald eagle. She was likely injured by a power line and hit by a car. Yeah. But what's really wonderful is that these guys here, the Raptor Center are on the front lines, giving these animals a fighting chance. And what's so exciting about today, assuming Aurora checks out nicely and physically is ready, which we think she is, we are gonna put her back in the wild. Dr. V, what do you hope to learn from that little blood sample there? To make sure that they're not anemic. Most of the birds that come to us are anemic because they've been starving in the wild as a result of their injury. I really love experiences like this. They open their doors so people from around the world visiting Sitka, exploring this incredible frontier, can come to this place and experience this conservation success firsthand. Okay, to make sure that they didn't get injured during capture, I'm gonna check the wings next. I don't feel any injuries. And that's what a wing should look like. Pop up beautifully like that. And this wing's checking out as well. Look at the spread of this wing, nearly three and a half feet on either side. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start sharpening her talons. We're about to have the ultimate bald eagle pedicure. Yes, that's correct. All right, here we go. So two important tools for being a bald eagle, a razor sharp beak to pry and dispatch flesh away from the prey they hunt, and incredibly sharp talons. The talons okay, go ahead and switch. are the claws at the very end of the foot. Okay, these feet look great. Nice uh, and sharp. This bird needs to go back into the wild in the most optimum condition. So we're gonna actually sharpen the beak, but it's all about saving this bald eagle. So guys, I know it looks intense, um, but it's kind of like going to the dentist. In fact, here, show them, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> See, out in the wild, this animal would be naturally sharpening its beak and its claws in just the way it lives, but here, at the center, it doesn't get that luxury. That is it, okay. This bird is ready for release. I just need to get my leather jacket on. Okay, we're ready? Yep, let's head up to the muskeg. Let's do it. All right, are you ready for this? I'm ready. So uh, how do we wanna do this? You're gonna set the bird's feet right here. We don't know what the bird is going to do. Maybe it'll fly this way. It could turn around and fly this way. Okay. So just be prepared for anything. For anything. Yeah, right. so the next thing I need to do is just loosen up the hood. One. Two, three. And there Perfect. goes Aurora back into the wilds where she belongs. And now hopefully you have seen why I love Alaska and I hope someday you can have your own great adventure here in this remarkable wild frontier. Thanks, Dr. V. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>